One day I went to the fridge in the home family that we were staying with in France and I opened up the door and there in a plastic bag was a bunny rabbit that was soaking in some kind of brine of some sort, I'm sure. But of course, uh, this is not something that I'd ever experienced before in my own family. Uh, my family didn't hunt. Um, I grew up in the city and I have to say I was kind of sheltered. Not that I was stupid. I, I knew that my hamburger that I was getting was once a cow, but I uh, had never actually really seen um, animals killed and I, didn't, I haven't seen the process of taking it right from that fresh hunt to your plate. So when I opened up the refrigerator and saw the rabbit in the bag, it was a, quite the shock to my system. And I quickly closed the door and I ran and got my friends, found out that uh, this was going to be our dinner. But not that night, it was going to be the day after the next. So for two days, we watched this bunny rabbit in the refrigerator get soaked up in this brine. We kind of nicknamed it the Easter Bunny uh, because none of us had really grown up in a family that uh, had fresh meat in our fridge. So we had to find some way of dealing with it and we decided humor was our best approach. So uh, that was one experience that I had that uh, wasn't really a highlight in my experience but uh, makes for a good tale. Another experience at the same French family was a dinner a couple of meals after that where we were sitting at the dinner table and of course meals were always a big extravagant event and always involved different courses. So we finally got to the entree course which was uh, a meat which again I said that we learned to eat first, ask later so I wasn't really sure exactly what this was but I later came to find out that it was duck. Again, meat and potato type of family is what I grew up with, you know, maybe a steak, maybe some hamburger, maybe some chicken, but really not even a lot of other gamey type uh, animals. So this was a, a different flavor for me. And I started off by taking a little bit of a bite and okay, I managed that. And so I thought, okay, I can do this. So I cut myself a second bite and put it in my mouth. And when I bit down, I hit something hard had no idea what it was, but of course my first reaction, because I'm not used to hard things in the meat that I had eaten at home, was embarrassment for my host mother. I thought, oh, something accidentally got in the meat, and oh, this is terrible, so I very tried to be quiet and shy about it, put it wrapped in my napkin, and I didn't even look at it, because, you know, why would I? Something hard, and oh, that was, you know, I was trying to save her uh, some embarrassment. Took the next bite, little bit of hesitancy, but sure enough, I hit something hard again. So come to find out that uh, when I took this one out, it was a little round metal thing, which of course I had no filter to understand what it was. And about 10 minutes into the meal, the host mother goes, oh, make sure that, uh, and she asked my friend to translate this, make sure that you remind your friends that there might be little pellets in the meat because when the duck was shot, they used the pellet gun, and so it breaks up into all these tiny little uh, pieces of, they're not really the bullet, but the little pellets, so they're round metal pieces. So again, breaking my teeth at the dinner table was not something that uh, I was ever expecting, nor would I consider it a high point of my eating experiences, but again, it makes for a good tale. Um, as I mentioned, we used to have several extravagant meals at my French family's, each with different courses. And one of the things that my French family was uh, known for was pairing their wines with the appropriate meal at hand. So each course typically had a different type of wine with it. Now again, I grew up in a family where I was told to make sure that you ate everything that was placed in front of you, that you weren't wasteful, especially with food or beverages. And so I was trying to be a very good girl and make sure that I ate everything that was given to me. Well, here's where we ended up having a little bit of a culture clash, which I wasn't aware of until after the fact. Um, my French family would pour a glass of wine and before the next course could be finished up, I would have to finish that glass of wine. Well, unfortunately, there were many times where I was finishing up a glass of wine, trying to do my part of being a good uh, guest and my host was trying to be a good host by keeping my wine glass filled. 
one of the rules in France was that being a good host, you never let your guest's glass go more than half empty. But of course, being a good guest, I was trying to make sure that my glass was always uh, used up. So you can see the clash there. And yes, I spent many a meal, probably a little tipsy, if not a little bit more than tipsy. So again, you have to understand cultural values, especially when it comes to food and culture.